Shalom Akim, first of all, praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rukav Kadash, Double Honor, Pastor Kamilson, Sessin Lek. You know, I want to do a real quick lesson, you know. It's real quick, just based on, you know, touching on, you know, what is love, bro? What is love, man? What is love people try to talk about, bro? Now, I'm going to get this real quick. I'm going to first get it's a simple, you know, diction, definition off of, off of Google, right? To what these people say, and then we have to go through go through description, man. Because people, you want to say they love God, right? They don't really show it, bro. They want to, they don't know what love is, man. They don't know how to love the Most High, bro. But love it means have an intense feeling or deep affection, a great interest or pleasure, and in, and pleasure in doing something. Feel. Deep, feel deep affection for someone, like or to or enjoy very much. So basically, like, what they try to describe me like, oh, they use enjoy, like, right? What people think is when people you know, even for the world, right? And people do things for love, right? They do things for them. But people, when people love the when the most high man, they don't do shit for them, bro. They don't do shit for the most high man. People say they love God, they love this, you know, I love Jesus, I love God. And yet what they do, they continue quick doing wickedness and continue on the wicked ways, bro. And I'm going to show you how to love the Most High, man. I'm going to get through scriptures of how to love the Most High and how it's how to do it, bro. And this is John 14, verse 15. And in reality, in fact, I'm going to start at verse... I'm going to start at verse 12, bro. I'm going to verse it verily, verily, I say unto you. He that believe me, the works that I do, shall he do also. So everybody in Yahweh Shai, man, this is where Yahweh Shai is speaking, bro. This is where the works that Yahweh Shai did, when he was on the scene 2,000 years ago, we should do also. And greater works than these shall do, because I go into my Father. So we should do even greater work when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, bro, because, because Yahweh Shai was resplendent with the most high, man. And I the most only part of that elect that you don't get to, get the spiritual powers at the end of the day, bro. Most high willing, man. Uh, you know, 144,000. Keep reading on. It reads, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. So we're asking you how your name, how was your name, Slakia. That was that what you should do, man. Long question, bro, that should do. That's wrong with that's wrong for you, how was bro? As long as you keep doing this, you know, keep doing, keep pushing the most only part of elect, man. Hey, call call all your how about Hashem your Hashem man. It reads that I'll do. I the Father me glorify in the Son. There's a lot of meat in those on those two verses, man. A lot of meat, bro. And that the Son, the Father me be glorified in the Son. Because look, we gotta the way we go through the most the way to get to to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, man. It's through Yahweh Shai. That's what it says. That's what it says. The Father may be glorified. May be glorified in the sun. Even these, even these fucking, even these black ass Christians got this, got that shit right, bro. What they say in Jesus Christ's name. I mean, like, no, like, first of all, these name we're not Jesus Christ, but damn, they, they, even these, even these Christian, Christian motherfuckers got this shit right. And yet, people that got um, got a um, and honestly, a twisted version of the truth. Hey, I see, I don't know, that shit scary, man. They had their fear put upon you. Most of them, that never happened to me, bro. But at least I, you don't have to work for Yahweh Shai. Let me just get in real quick. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If he shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. And that's the point I want to get over here real quick. This is you know, the whole point of the lesson, man. If you love me, if you love Yahweh Shai, right? So if you love me, keep my commandments. Yahweh just said clear and plain. If you love Yahweh Shai, keep the commandments. Don't go off. Keep the commandments. In fact, bro, because look, man. That's what it is, bro. Keep the commandments of the Most High. Let me get this real quick. So, what's the commandments, bro? I say, how do you keep the commandments, man? Like, what is commandments, bro? Commandments is. is what Leviticus is what he wrote down that for us to keep as a holy people only unto Israel. Now this is Romans 6 verse 23 and it reads 
What is the sin is death, and how do you sin, brother? Is a transgression of the law. What is the sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh of Yahweh is an Yahweh is an eternal life to Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Lord. In that point right there too, when it says Yahweh Mashiach, our Lord, He's our Lord, bro. He probably give praise and honor to Him, to Yahweh Shai, bro. The world is going to call Jesus Christ. Say, hey, man, it's pretty. It's honestly kind of clear cut, soon, bro. If you love you, how shy? If, you know, if I can get that real quick, it's John four and verse fifteen. Says, if you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father that He shall give you another Comforter that He may abide with you forever. And the Comforter be the truth, man. These these truth, these where they comfort us in our time of need. They comfort us, bro. And next, we get no. It's like it. Honestly, bro, it's all. It's all there, man. At the end of the day, you know, it's at the end. Of the day, it's there, but it's not there, man. Because it first thing you have to do is to how I have to give the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, under, of understanding, bro. Have to give you that spirit of understanding how to you know decipher these words, bro. Because it hey, just because like you know, it may be it may be sim being simple to ourselves, man. Bunch of people, they ain't that simple, bro. Keep reading on. I'm going to verse 4 on 21. And it reads, He that keep my commandments, keep them. And he that loveth me, he, he that, and he that loveth me, shall love my father. And I, and I love, like, maybe that again real quick, sorry. So he that, and he that have kept, it's like, he have, he that have my commandments, the commandments, bro. And keepeth them, he is that he is. It is that love me. So if you keep the commandments of you, have, you have to keep the commandments of the other scriptures, bro. You know, like keep those down, bro. You're not eating, not eating shrimp, not eating pork, lo crab, lobster, man. You're keeping the Sabbath, keeping the holy day, bro. Keeping the high holy days, and this that, man. And it says, "What say he that he have? It's like he that have my commandments and keepeth them." He it he it is that loved me. So if he person that keeps the commandments shows that he actually does love you, how was shy. Dude, look, you can say you love the, you love somebody but you don't do anything to them, then how you how are you really proving your love? Like, you can say say you love a bitch, right? Say you love a chick, bro. Say, oh bro, baby, I love you, I love you, this is now and I love you so much. But then you go fuck around with all these other bitches like bitches like, how the fuck do you love me? <laughs> Like, you ain't spend no time me. You ain't doing this. You ain't doing that. Like, say, hey, man, you know, same thing with Mosai, man. If you love Yahweh Shai, you're going to keep the commandments. You're going to say what, you're going to keep what he does, what he says to do, man. And that was it. He's keep the commandments. Keep the commandments as a, as a, as a, as a big way to fall line in order, bro. And ruin the scriptures, man. And say, hey, he it, it is that love me. And that love me shall. Be love my father, and I will love him, and I will manifest myself to him. Into verse, into verse twenty-three, and out of this man. In fact, no one more actually. Saw you. This is John fourteen verse twenty-three, and reads, Yahashua answered, and said to him, If any man love me, say, If a man love me, he will keep my words. And what's the words he said, bro? Back to verse 4, back to verse 15. If he loved me, keep my commandments. Now back to verse 23. He also answered and sent to him, If a man love me, and he will he will keep my words. And my father will love him, and will abode and will come unto him, and our and make our abode with him. He that loved me not, keep not my sayings. So he the most that people that don't love know the Yahweh Shai won't keep his sayings. Like the commandments, bro. They said, keep my commandments. They're not giving me how I'm saying, man. Well, I'm going to call Jesus Christ saying, bro. And it reads, And the words which ye hear is not mine, but the Father that's, which sent me. Hey, bro. It shows that, hey, that's 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 true love. That's how you show your love to Yahweh, to Yahweh Shai and Yahweh, man. It's the keeping of the commandments of the Most High. That's how you show your love. That's how you show your dedication to this thing, man. Honestly, bro. 
I mean, I know that, I know that was quick, but I hope it was, it was left edifying, edif, it's like an edifying lesson. Now you can all freaking go to your howl, but Hashim, you have a shot, but Hashim, and Kakradash. That's fucking so long.